a change in the wind. This is something that already happened in your favor, I would say. This can happen again. All that glitters on point. There can be a facade. Crossing bridges. Burning bridges also, guys, I would say. There is no going back. It's time for healing, connecting, mending and releasing. An extremely important message, this one. Discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for July 2022. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So, current situation, two of cups, eight of swords, temperance, major arcana, nine of pentacles, challenge, sun, major arcana, crowning energy, the empress, core of the situation, seven of pentacles. In the past, we have the world. In the future, four of swords, our focus, judgment, bottom of the deck, wheel of fortune, life cycles, life chapters that follow one another, divine timing at play. Also, patience, guys, can be a factor, considering the seven of pentacles and the temperance. Ask for help from others. Wait, no surprise. Choose a new direction bottom of the deck love calls someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning Bottom of the deck we have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited, message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering. So guys, for some of you, someone uh, from the past, the judgment can be a second chance. But it is fair to say that there was a major ending between the two of you. That's why if you are single and shining bright there can be there can be several doubts about the opportunity to try again with a former partner the two of cups in this flow is the topic you know we are talking about love is it possible to share love once again with someone that if we follow the heartbroken oracle card may have truly broken our heart in the past and if you can tell that after a breakup you have managed to bounce back even in a satisfying way we can be iffy about the opportunity to try again I love to see the Sun and the Empress guys because some of you will have uh, to evaluate the real opportunity to find more happiness and a healthy growth in a connection with someone that for whatever reason was not able to work things out with you. And so the temperance, which is an energy about healing, the willingness to compromise, and also the decision to look for common grounds when it is necessary, this one can turn out to be a decision to take the higher road, even if there can be a conversation, because what if the other person uh, asks you guys out? 
the seven of pentacles core of the situation can be about a time factor that can play an important role when it comes to this interaction this is also an energy that can describe some of you that are not in a hurry the ask for help from others can even be a concept about asking for advices because you know the other person can be an important one for some of you guys but it seems that you are in a good position and even if you are looking for a fair companion there is something about this connection that may be different from the opportunity that you can consider as the real one the one that can truly fulfill your expectations and aspirations you can even say to the other person look if it was over between us there was a reason or maybe there were multiple reasons there was a learning curve linked to the connection now we can think about the opportunity to try again but the four of swords is also an energy about silence you know and it can even be an energy that can um, work as the decision to cut uh, communication so guys let's find out more let's see the choose a new direction oracle card can be something that has already happened and somehow some way it can be something that can happen again if we realize that a second chance is not uh, something that we want to embrace with this person ten of cups and the three of swords look at the contrast between these two energies the ten of cups ultimate emotional fulfillment it's a lovely energy it can be considered as the higher goal maybe you are hoping to find this energy thanks to this connection the first time unfortunately it didn't work the three of swords can be what this person can represent for some of you guys a disappointment a heartache heartbroken oracle card and we know that the three of swords is a challenging energy about something that didn't go according to expectations that's why the eight of swords oh my goodness this person is coming back from the past truly resurfacing what do they want why are they offering a new chance in love after all the things uh, we have gone through let's see the sun in the challenge guys because the sun can even be about clarity even the judgment can be a divine truth what if some of you are called to pass this test if we think about a former partner that shows up one more time kind of saying that everything can be different if you agree to try again the Empress lovely to see this recurrent energy a healthy growth and the hanged man uncomfortable position guys another energy that can resonate with the weight oracle card with the seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune that we have seen from the bottom of the first deck the opportunity that can come up because the other person reaches out can be put a little bit on the back burner guys you are not going to jump to a conclusion uh, like there is no tomorrow it is fair to do that 
to be honest, because um, some of you may have um, a legitimate desire to think about the situation, especially if it is a surprise. But uh, we come back to the main object of the evaluation, a healthy development, a healthy growth, the opportunity to amplify our inner happiness and inner satisfaction. The Nine of Pentacles lady doesn't need anything from anyone. That's why those of you that can resonate with this scenario and that can um, say, look, I have bounced back big time. Now I am good with my uh, current situation. I can be open to find a fair companion, you know, but I am not in a hurry. Um, the opportunity has to be the real one. Uh, this one, maybe I can think about it, but without, uh, without the anxiety that the Eight of Swords can represent. And so if this energy plays out big time, it can be like a red flag. The hanged man is an encouragement to shift a perspective. An encouragement to pay attention, to notice uh, something that can be important. Let's see the Empress. A lot of cards for the Empress. Ten of Swords. It was over, guys. And at the same time, we can say that, unfortunately, the connection was not able to offer a healthy development. That's why a rough completion... Um, manifested king of swords another energy that can follow a conversation three of cups this can be the desire to rekindle a connection what if for some of you the three of cups was like an interference that um, didn't work uh, in favor of the connection at the time and the Two of Swords, this is a crossroads, guys, uh, important decision. This can even be your posture. The lady is closed off. The Two of Swords, King of Swords combination is meaningful because the King is a brilliant mind. He can notice all the factors involved in a particular situation. He can pinpoint between all of them and he can come up with the best possible decision. Um, this is crucial because, again, challenging memories can resurface for some of you and you may associate the other person to the Three of Swords energy, Ten of Swords uh, one. And this can be something that plays against a potential reunion. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles. The other person can even say that they are willing to wait, indeed, kinda, in order to give you guys some time, but what seems different is the perspective about the opportunity. Knight of Swords. This is an unexpected um, flow of communication. Talking love call. Then we know also that the Knight of Swords can be an energy about harsh words. And maybe this was a factor for some of you um, along the first attempt of the connection. If that's the case, it can be even more difficult to say yes to a second chance. The other person may desire to try again with you guys, but as the saying goes, it takes two to tango. Let's see the word which offers major lessons. For me, it is the opportunity to raise the level of awareness, wisdom and knowledge in order to be more successful even in the following chapters of the journey. So this connection was over. Let's see what we can find out. Four of Pentacles. 
this can be about stubbornness guys and also like a decision to close ourselves for protection so it can be a a 50 50 situation no real chance to compromise in a productive way during the first attempt that's why the situation didn't uh, pay off chapter closed protection mode that's why it can be difficult to consider a second chance as a, a real opportunity to find success king of pentacles even an energy about commitment guys and the devil so for some of you commitment was not an option it was instead a source of struggles within the interaction with this person that was your partner back then the devil is was a psycho and that's why some of you may have broken free from this uh, connection because it was not meant to be it was a source of challenges even a major test for your health because if a connection drains a lot of energies our health our body our um, our mind even can um, suffer because of that this person coming around one more time can work as a temptation guys it's like a new test a final test if we want to say that um, for them the cycle is not over that's why they are trying or they can try but you have to pay a lot of attention this is the point let's see the four of swords guys introspection quiet moment it is also an energy about healing if you embraced a healing process after the breakup you can take that into consideration in order to say am i running the risk to compromise the positive inner work that i have started to do once the connection ended this is another important question this is a connection with someone that may have been a source of triggers they can be aware of that they can say that it is possible to do things in a different way but it seems that it seems that they are willing to um, put some dust under the rug you know and we know that this is not a wise uh, modus operandi here we go wheel of fortune recurrent energy we are coming to a major turning point meaning that this connection is facing what can be considered the final crossroads you know hermit i love it guys this is a moment of solitude if we follow the nine of pentacles energy as a single status the hermit can match for me this is not in favor of the opportunity to be together again king of cups an energy about emotional maturity guys this can speak about you and at the same time this can speak about questions and doubts when it comes to the real level of emotional maturity for the other person and it is also fair to say that whatever type of memory love related about this connection um, can be kept under the surface of the water if we follow the king of cups energy why because the hurt 
the disappointments, the sadness and the regrets can truly be way more prominent. And this can be something that some of you guys may have the opportunity to say to the other person. Ace of Swords, um, truth and clarity, a conversation, another energy that can follow the King of Swords. It can even be a decision in order to leave behind the Two of Swords crossroads. It is also an energy that can allow the hanged man to break free from the uncomfortable position. This one, guys, should be an encouragement, if you ask me, because some of you may have the chance to pass this test with flying colors, even if it means that you have to face one last conversation with a former partner that was a source of heartaches, and this can be the opportunity to close the cycle for good. Does it mean that it is going to be easy? Maybe not. Maybe not, because we are talking about a connection that maybe was important for some of you. And still, this is the opportunity to wrap things up and also to tie whatever loose end um, this person may have thought was possible to nurture again, you know? So, let's see where we are going. I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. There is an extended on Vimeo. I'll see you there if you want to join me. The link is below. If you resonate, let us know. Leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.